And when you use renewable electricity to split water into H and O, that's green hydrogen. And the device creating this reaction is called an electrolyzer. Studies show that creating usable hydrogen from electricity can lose a whopping 30 to 40% of its energy. Is hydrogen really the most efficient path to clean driving? Let's find out. The dream of hydrogen fuel seems straightforward. Clean burning fuel made from water. But before we get there, we need to address a major issue, which is the energy required to produce hydrogen. Unlike oil or natural gas that can be pumped directly from the ground, hydrogen doesn't exist in a readily usable form. It needs an energy boost to separate it from water molecules. This energy boost comes in the form of electricity. Electrolysis is one method, but it's not the only one. Hydrogen can also be produced from fossil fuels like natural gas through a process called steam reforming. Here's where things get a little murky. Natural gas reforming might seem like a shortcut, but it comes with a hidden cost. During this process, the natural gas reacts with high temperature steam, breaking down the molecules and releasing hydrogen. However, this reaction also releases carbon dioxide, a major greenhouse gas. So while the end product, hydrogen, burns clean, the production process itself contributes to climate change. Studies by the International Council for Clean Transportation suggest that depending on the type of electrolyzer used, the energy efficiency can range from 60% to 80%. This means that for every 100 units of electrical energy you put into the electrolyzer, you only get back 60 to 80 units of usable hydrogen energy. Also, storing hydrogen in high pressure tanks adds another layer of inefficiency. The compression process itself consumes energy, and there are inevitable energy losses due to heat generation. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory estimates that compressing and storing hydrogen can result in a further 10 to 30% energy loss. So by the time you fill your hydrogen tank, you're potentially down to just 42 to 56 units of usable energy from the original 100 units you started with. Finally, when you use hydrogen in a fuel cell vehicle, there's another energy loss during the conversion process. Fuel cells are efficient, but not perfect. Studies by the US Department of Energy suggest fuel cell efficiency can range from 50 to 60%. This means that when you use the stored hydrogen in your fuel cell to power the electric motor, you only get back 21 to 34 units of usable energy from the original 100 units that started your journey. Looking at the entire hydrogen life cycle, from electricity input to usable energy output, the efficiency losses can be significant. In the best case scenario, you might end up with only around 30% of the original energy available for powering your vehicle. In stark contrast, Lithium-ion batteries boast impressive efficiency. During charging and discharging, lithium-ion batteries typically experience only 5 to 10% energy loss. This means that for every 100 units of electrical energy you put into the battery, you get back around 90 to 95 units of usable energy to power your electric vehicle. The efficiency advantage of lithium-ion batteries translates directly to greater driving range and lower overall energy consumption. This makes them the clear winner in today's clean transportation landscape. While hydrogen gets a lot of hype recently, it's clear that lithium-ion batteries offer many advantages apart from efficiency. First one is that lithium-ion battery technology is constantly improving. Researchers are developing new materials and cell designs that promise to significantly increase energy density. This translates to longer driving ranges for EVs. For example, a 2012 Nissan LEAF offered a range of around 75 miles, whereas some 2024 models boast ranges exceeding 300 miles on a single charge. This rapid progress makes lithium-ion batteries a reliable and continuously improving power source for EVs. Second advantage is the widespread availability of lithium-ion charging infrastructures. One of the biggest challenges for hydrogen vehicles is the lack of refueling infrastructure. 
Filling a hydrogen tank can be a time-consuming process, and stations are still relatively scarce compared to gas stations. Lithium-ion batteries, on the other hand, benefit from a rapidly growing charging infrastructure. Public and private charging stations are becoming increasingly available, making it easier for EV owners to top up their batteries on the go. Additionally, many homes now have the option of installing private charging stations, offering even greater convenience. Another advantage is that lithium-ion batteries are not only becoming more efficient, but also more affordable. Manufacturing costs have been steadily decreasing over the past decade, making EVs a more accessible option for consumers. Additionally, the lower energy losses associated with lithium-ion batteries translate to lower operating costs for EV owners. They simply need to charge their energy instead of refuel, potentially leading to significant savings over time. Finally, they do have a slightly extra edge when it comes to being eco-friendly. While both lithium-ion batteries and hydrogen fuel cells offer zero tailpipe emissions, the environmental impact goes beyond just what comes out of the vehicle. The mining and processing of materials used in lithium-ion batteries does have an environmental footprint. However, ongoing research is focused on developing sustainable and ethical sourcing practices for these materials. Additionally, advancements in battery recycling programs are helping to minimize the environmental impact throughout the battery's life cycle. In conclusion, lithium-ion batteries offer a compelling package for EV owners. With continuous advancements in technology, a rapidly expanding charging infrastructure, and increasing cost-effectiveness, they remain the clear frontrunners in the race for clean and practical electric transportation. So, the next time you hear someone raving about hydrogen as the mode of clean transportation, remember this, it's not quite as sunshine and rainbows as it seems. Hydrogen fuel cells face significant challenges in production, storage, and efficiency. While they may have a role to play in the future, for now, lithium-ion batteries are the clear winners in the race for clean, efficient, and practical EV technology. However, this doesn't mean there's no place for hydrogen research and development. Continued advancements could make hydrogen a viable option for certain applications in the future. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, stay charged, stay informed, and we'll catch you in the next one. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.